I'm trying to resolve an issue with my um, horn ring. Um, I have to really press down and just press down in the center to get it to sound off. Any kind of tap to the left or right uh, will not make it work. So um, I know the contact's good because I pressed it down and it certainly goes off. So I want to take a look over here and see what's going on with my um, horn ring. And I'm going to disassemble um, these pieces here. Make sure they're all correct and uh, clean up the contacts and so on. Um, obviously, you can see what really hits it. Um, there's a that horn wire, um, that tit there through the center is what contacts this plate that kind of moves here. And um, this is a ring here that kind of retains the um, horn ring to the steering steering wheel so there's no juice flowing through that but what's supposed to happen is when you move this a little bit it's supposed to hit so what if i don't need to clean up the context there so we're going to take this apart and see what's going on three little screws that hold these in but uh most probably this corrosion problem something like that i need to clean some of this up Our center medallion, that plastic piece right there, of course, just like that. Try to make sure when you put this back in that your uh, your Ford crest goes correct, um, just like so. All right, we got it all disassembled here. Um, these are whoops. Don't want to lose a bushing there. Well, that'd be nice. These are the little insulators. Really not bushings. Um, small little jobs here. That way it won't sound off when um, this is what really goes up against your um, steering wheel, of course. So I'm going to clean all this off really good. You see these things right here kind of more a little bit. This thing will only sound off if I press the horn straight down. One thing to mention. All right, I kind of cheated here. I uh, put them in the last cabinet. So all right, let's get our pieces back on here now. And... Um, the first inch layers lined up correctly. The second one here with our insulators. Then uh, our piece here that retains the horn ring to the steering wheel. Once you get this back together, um, you want to make sure that this piece right here moves freely. Because I'm going to um, assume that is the piece that does indeed ground the horn ring or ground the contacts technically. All right, make sure this is on tight enough at least to where and the lights on inside. So yeah, we're good. Go back around and uh, see if we can have a simple tap. See if we have the contacts. Nope. That wasn't it either. Gotta push it all the way down. So, back to the drawing board. Okay, so remember this is just a ground. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, get a test lead, attach it to uh, the horn button, and then make sure that our um, steering column here is grounded. I'm gonna assume that it is, but you never can tell. Hmm. There's the issue. Got a weak ground. There's a good one. But boy, out here, it's bad. So, that means I need to clean up the contacts in here. Nice. All right, uh, quick thing here. This is a 15th, 16th nut. And um, disconnected the horn wire um, up there at the lead to the relay. And then this right here just pull out of the steering column little metal cup there you're going to want to grab. The reason I'm pulling this out to get the steering wheel puller on here, if I put that nose on this horn button um, or on this tit here, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to bust things up. And I, I definitely don't want to do that. Um, I just as soon do it the right way, pull this out. So and it's easy to put back in. It's not a, it's not a pain at all. 
it's just fine. Okay, so the steering wheel puller is all hooked up here. If you never use one of these, it's kind of simplistic, and I think you can rent them at any auto parts store in town, any big big chain store. But uh, basically, there's um, two bolts that are going to run into your um, into your steering wheel here, and well, I should have probably measured these just so that you know. I'm pretty sure these are five sixteenths fine thread. Was it five sixteenths twenty four thread for a fifty six wheel? And then um, I got a 5 eighths head on this steering wheel puller. And so basically when I tighten uh, this up, it's going to pull the bracket my way, which obviously the bolts here. And just all you want to do is really pop it loose. Um, I don't have a tripod in here, but I don't know if I can do this. Uh, I'll just yeah, put it really didn't take any time at all. It just uh, basically, you can see right there, as you barely look, it's pulling it up. And I'm just barely turning this. Um, so it's already kind of popped loose. So it's really simplistic um, to get this done. Of course, you want to make sure that you're good on and you're deep on um, your two bolts that go into the threads here in the steering wheel. No sense in stripping those out. By the way, there is a spring or should be a spring under here to uh, help you kind of pop the wheel steering wheel loose. And it's hard to tell. Oh, yeah, you can see it there. This is keyed. Um, you see that large groove right there. That way you get the steering wheel on correctly um, each time that you do so. All right, just to confirm, this is a 5 uh, fine thread, um, 24 thread here, and then, um, oh, pretty, pretty sure it's 24. Anyway, it's fine thread, and uh, go into your two holes there with the 56 wheel. I don't know if uh, you ever get hung up on just kind of figuring out what size, um, what diameter your bolt is. Um, I use uh, like a drill gauge. And um, kind of simplistic. And uh, you see five sixteenths right there. Pop it right in. So uh, at any rate, that's the size bolt you need. All right, it's been a while since I've done anything to this steering wheel. Um, and it's it has some cracks on it. I mean, you can just see, um, even though I did that PC7 and all that stuff, um, it's got more cracks that kind of come back. It's just the old bake light and whatnot. Um, I really, after it um, gave me such a fit when I painted, I really didn't do the greatest of jobs on it because I was so exasperated with it. And figured that I want to do is uh, put a Thunderbird wheel on it. Um, you can buy those reproduction. They're a tick smaller, like uh, 15 inches or so. But um, at any rate, it's what we got right now. So um, let's go ahead and clean up that whole um, inside diameter. You can tell there's it doesn't look the greatest in there so of course i probably should have cleaned this up a little bit more when i put it in but... and looking at all the crud that came off you can uh see why i decided to take the thing out of the vehicle man nasty all right um i've got my um warm wire hooked up underneath the steering column there then uh, make sure this is set the way it's supposed to be with a little cup inside the shaft there. Then you got your um, spring that goes on here. And then of course our um, clean contacts on our horn and uh, weigh this or the, the trim ring. So what goes in basically you cock it a little bit about 15, 20 degrees or so. I'm trying to do this holding my phone. So excuse me, set that down and then spin it. Let me get the contacts right. There we go. All right. And um, we'll see what this does here. We're gonna hook up the, uh, hook up the batteries. All right, moment of truth. And nothing. Hmm. And there we go though. So let's go back and see what's going on here. Okay, so we hooked the battery back up. We got a lead here um, on our horn wire. We'll see if we can hit. Yeah, right there. Very good. Very good. So that works fine. We know it's not in the steering wheel as far as that goes. So it's got to be in the trim ring of some sort. So what I want to do, get out my trusty uh, manual and take a look at... Uh, what parts and pieces go in there? Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. I got this second hand. Okay. Um, 
One of the things I've noticed here is that it looks to me like the steering wheel should come down another, not a quarter of an inch, but close to it, um, at least an eighth or more. And um, most of the pictures I've noticed, it just seems like there's too much. The steering wheel does seem like it's bottoming, bottoming out. You say, why would that be a problem? Well, I got the battery unhooked. But anyway, um, the way this is designed with the horn button is that this tit right here is supposed to come in contact with this piece right, or this part right here. I don't know necessarily that it is. It may be that this, since the steering wheel is not down far enough, that there's too much room. So I'm going to um, take some wire and just uh, kind of wrap it around the cup right here that will extend this out a little more and see what see what happens with that just to make okay the battery's hooked back up let's see what happens nothing only when i go down wow what is going on what is going on okay after taking this apart again um kind of wondering if because this is crushed uh, there's probably not enough contact as far as uh, compression between the bottom of that cup that sits on here and then uh, obviously in there to push that or move that cup forward and slide it onto these insulators. So um, the next step then is to basically figure out a way to get myself a rubber pad in there. I think I got some neoprene stock, make it about that thick and um, put it between, or just set it right in there and then uh, see what we get. Let's get to it. Okay, I've got some um, kind of, I don't know what this stuff is, but it's um, pretty durable, flexible. You can uh, compress it. So um, it's almost like a foamish rubber. <clears throat> I've used it before, but I've had some stock left over, so I'm just going to cut out, I don't know, maybe uh, four or five of these, stack them up and use them in place of this and see what we get. All right, uh, what we're doing, we're replacing this rubber pad right here. You can tell that um, it's pretty much toast. <laughs> it just uh, kind of loses its flexibility here. And we've got a stack to replace it right there. And just going to see what happens here when we uh, put all this back together. And this piece goes on. Yeah, wow. That's probably what the issue is. So I may have to play with this a little bit and just see how many of these I need. I'll take off two, put that back on there, and then see where we see where we land. All right, just to test this out, um, you can still push this down a little bit. Not a lot, but it does have some flexibility to it. But now what's happened is, is this contact ring has uh, come up very close to the retainer ring. And uh, it should slide on those those insulators right there. Um, so let's install this and see what happens. And now for the moment of truth. I've not tested. I put it on there. Just took the battery. Yes. And we've got it. And uh, everything's good. And boy, it's just a light touch. And she's good. So uh, special thanks to the one fella on uh, Facebook that helped me. So whoever said nothing good can come of uh, social media. Every once in a while, there's a gold nugget out there. Thanks.